All right, we're here with John Muller, head baseball coach, speaking with him after opening weekend doubleheader sweep of St. Joseph's College, Brooklyn. Coach, before we get into the game, what was it like being on the field for the first time in pretty much a year? Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. I mean, I, told, I actually told my wife when I got home last night, like, I didn't even think about COVID, really. Besides the setup at the start of the game, it was like the first day where we were able just to play, you know, and, and there, you were having fun, and the guys were enjoying themselves, and it was... It was kind of like a pre-COVID thing, you know, even though there are certain rules um, that we had to follow, but um, it was really enjoyable. You know, it was a great thing. I know, it was great to see you guys back on. We were obviously watching the game real excited. Um, so first question I have for you player-wise, Aiden Rice, sophomore, coming in, gets the first start of the season. Uh, pretty, pretty solid performance. Five innings, four strikeouts, three total base runners, only allowed one hit. Um, We'll obviously get to the offense a little later. There was a, a big outbreak, but, I mean, just as important as offense is pitching. So talk about his performance a little bit and how he performed. Yeah, Aiden's been great since he got here. Um, as we spoke about when we did the, the interview to start the season, um, there's a lot of new pitchers here. Um, and there's a lot of returning pitchers that, that have gotten a lot better. Um, Aiden's one of the, one of the highlights of, of the younger pitchers on the staff. I think you would have seen a lot of him last year. Um, you saw a little bit of him. He only got he's up in the first Bard, Bard series, but uh, you're gonna see a lot of him this year. Every weekend, uh, he's gonna be a big part about what we do. He works extremely hard. He's made tremendous jumps in, in velocity and, and just size and strength, and his work ethic is in, incredible. And you know he's a leader. You know he's he's a big part of what we're gonna be doing moving forward for the next. You know at least I think he's got he's gonna be here for four more years. So um, he's gonna be a big part of what goes on here. Great coach. Um... So now let's talk about your offense. You know, 33 runs total between the two games. Uh, how big has your offense been, and, and how do you all look to continue to be such a big powerhouse? Well, um, in 2019, they were all freshmen and sophomores, you know. So we had, we had a very, very good year. I think we surprised a lot of people. Now they're two years older, um, which, which, is, which is exciting, you know. Um, I wish I could say, I tell people all the time, I wish I knew they were all going to be this good right away, um, but they're making, they're, they're, they're making the program look really good. You know, they showed up hitting, and they've just continued to get better and better and stronger um, as the years have gone on. They've all bought into our philosophies. You know, we talk a lot about philosophies. We actually hit a lot. We work on a lot of the things you saw yesterday um, in the game. Situ our situational hitting was great. Our approaches were great. Um, our on-deck approaches were great. The conversations in the dugout were great. Um, guys were on time. Guys were ready to hit. And I think we just got a really special group. You know, we, we, we got very, you know, we tried to find the right guys when we, when we started recruiting here. And we found a really, really good group of young men that, that, that have bought into the program, that have bought into each other. And, and, and it's been fun to watch, man. It was like a, it was like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the offense, like Dorian said, the runs, hits, and you guys ran up the score. So it was... It was crazy to see you guys really put it all together in the first game. But now to go back to pitching, um, the second game, you used a little more. You know, you had to mix and match a little bit. St. Joe's battled a little bit yesterday. But Amir Natowski, a leader on your team, came in in relief, 3.1 innings, kind of settled things down after a rough go early on. So uh, what was it for him to come in as a reliever and kind of just set you guys back into, into the game where, you know, you felt more comfortable putting runs on the board? Yeah, well, Amir's, Amir's going to be a conference starter all year. Everybody on the team knows that. Um, Sean Kennedy is a freshman who we think very highly of. We wanted to get him some, get him some work and get him throw him right into the fire right away. So Amir knew that his number was going to be called the day, whether he was starting the game or not. Um, I thought it was important to have him coming in after Sean. Regardless, you know, we, we had high expectations of Sean, and I know he's going to have an outstanding year. Um, but we just wanted to have Amir there to finish out the game and get his work in, and then work our way through the the rest of the pitching lineup that we had that day. Um, but Amir is a, is a captain. He's a leader. Um, him and Peter Sanderson really have been the two rocks of the pitching staff uh, for the last two years. They led us to the playoffs uh, in 2019. Um, but Amir's going to come out there. He's going to throw strikes. I know his numbers didn't show um, quite to what his liking would have been. Would have been. Um, but he's going to be. He's going to be one of our best competitors. He's going to go out there. He's going to throw strikes. He's going to compete. He's going to win games. All right. And uh, just one more question for you. Um, we have a little bit of a layoff now. Another uh, next weekend we're off. Then we return to Maritime on March 27th. Um, you know, you guys had a big game. How are you going to keep that momentum up, even though having a little bit of a layoff will be, I'm sure, a little tough? Well, we, we, gotta, we have a tremendous practice schedule. You know, we're meeting, we're meeting in groups. We're doing different things. We're going to keep doing what we're doing because we know it works. It's worked for the last couple of years. Um, we're going to keep doing that. And then we don't think we don't have games this weekend. 
Um, anything can happen. We weren't supposed we were supposed to play, then we weren't supposed to play, then we had an opportunity to play. We're going to go through this week with our pitching, with our hitting, with the way we practice and how we plan like we're playing this weekend, um, whether it be two games, four games. If anybody wants to play us, if anything happens, unfortunate, if any unfortunate events and somebody doesn't play, obviously we want everybody to play. We want the conference to have as many games as possible yeah. for everybody who want to have you know, an enjoyable season. Um, but if any opportunity arises for us to, to go out and play, we're going to play. Um, I told the guys yesterday uh, when we finished the game, I don't care if we're playing the Yankees. <laughs> Um, if we get an opportunity to play baseball, we're going to play baseball. We're going to get better. You know, and that, that's our goal. All right, awesome. Coach, congrats on the, the sweep opening weekend, and that's all we have for today, right? Good. I got one more. Oh, you got one more? Oh, go I ahead. I got one more. Okay. All right, so, Coach, obviously, from where we're sitting, it might have looked like a perfect game, okay. but obviously that's not what really happened. Um, so what do you guys want to improve upon going into the next few days and then, you know, into your next game? Okay. Um... Well, I think I think um, the pitching that we saw in the first game was impeccable. I thought it was excellent. It was as near perfect as it could, as it could get. Um, but, but we had a one hitter, <laughs> you know, an infield single. Um, but the second game, I would have liked the pitchers to attack the strike zone a little bit more. Um, we talk about being competitive in the strike zone, being have, making competitive pitches on a regular basis, um, which makes your secondary pitches and everything else more effective as the game goes on. I think if you really watched the game yesterday, we dug ourselves a lot of holes in the second game. I think Jody Candia came out there and did a really, really good job, um, and, and Humberto Vila in the second game. But I think the other pitchers that pitched in the second game, I think we didn't see the attacking of the strikes on that I want, that I'm preaching here. Um, and I think it affected their secondary pitches, and, and it made, they had to throw more pitches, they had to labor a little bit more. And, and you're not getting as many swings. We want swings early in the count. We want guys to come up to the plate. We want them swinging. We want, we, want, we want to make effective pitches. You know, overall, that's what we want to do. I want to attack the strike zone. That's, that's one major key that I'm taking from, from this weekend that we're going to really, really, really put pressure on the pitchers to do here uh, this week. Offensively, um, there's a couple guys that we're going to work on some things with. I already had a couple meetings with a couple of the hitters that obviously the great thing about having all these live streams is this is the first time at Mount St. Vincent that I get to watch the games, right. um, besides from the sidelines at, you know, time. So I've been going through video for, the, for last night. I watched both games again last night when I got home. I watched both games already this morning again. And then I brought in the hitters, and we went through different approaches, different pitches, you know, whether, they, whether they're taking certain pitches that they shouldn't be taking in certain counts, um, whether, you know, there's just something wrong with their swing or something wrong with their load or some kind of mechanic going on on the offensive end. Uh, defensively, we'll keep pushing. That was our first time out. I mean, we went outside twice, and we weren't even on a baseball field. Um, so that was our first time outside. Um, I, think, I think for being the first time outside, it doesn't get much better than what you saw yesterday. For sure. Um, I, I, I couldn't have mapped it out any better. But, but like I said, I think the pitching, I think just attacking, attacking the strike zone a little bit more, I think that's the most important thing that we need to take next weekend. All right, awesome. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, and uh, good luck at Game Against Maritime. Awesome. Thank you.